Hello and welcome to Web Crawlers Bimbo News Mailbag episode. I'm Ali Siegel. I am Melissa Stettin. This is our show where we play your voicemails, read any emails that are of interest to us, and read your reviews if we have any. Do we have any reviews today? That's a very good question. I'm not I'm not seeing the last one I see is November 10th and I think we already read it. Gosh darn it. Wow. Well, listen, we are number 31 on the charts in Great Britain under entertainment news. Hell yeah. So, <laughs> poop poop cheerio. Poop pip toop cheerio. Pip, and pip. we're number 43 in Australia. Put oh, another shrimp shit. on the barbie. Put a shrimp on the barbie. And um, we're number 75 in America. So um, yeah, top 100, baby. Top 100, baby. Uh, But do better. I think we should be number... (laughs) Do better. Do better. (laughs) Yeah, make us do better. Uh, Should we get into some voicemails? We have an email. This is from Emily. Synchronicity moment. Hey, Uh ladies. Huge fan of the pod. Love you all very much. Just wanted to share a small synchronicity moment I just had. I was listening to your episode about Daniel Beckwit. I just discovered y'all a few months ago, so I'm super behind. And in the episode, y'all go on a small tangent about Uline and buying boxes (laughs) from them. Oh my God, that that must be such an old episode. Our classic Uline tangent that we go on. Yeah, one of our Uline rants. Uh, Now, I've never purchased anything from Uline. I don't think I've ever even Googled anything about them. Never received anything from them before. I get home and check my mail, and literally the only thing in the mailbox is a Uline catalog of all the different boxes they offer. Stop it. That's so crazy. Just thought it was kind of weird that I happened to be listening to that older episode on the way home. Y'all mentioned Uline. Suddenly, there's a catalog in my mailbox a few moments later. Anyway, thanks for reading, Emily. Oh, my God. That's really weird. weird. That is very weird. Yeah, Uline is like Republican or something. Yeah, they donate to like anti uh, bad people. Yeah. We got an email from Merritt about take care of Maya. Oh yeah. She yeah, she's I sent this on Instagram, just wanted to make sure you saw it. I just listened to the Bimbo News episode this week. Please listen to season three of the podcast Nobody Should Believe Me. I'm a pediatrician, and Maya's case was extremely concerning for Munchausen by proxy. The documentary on Netflix only shows you the side that this reporter wants you to see. This podcast includes several experts in the field, including those who worked on this case and does a really good job summarizing the issues with the case and documentary. Just don't want misinformation out there without everyone knowing the other side of the story. It's obviously horrible and really sad that Beata, Beata, was that her name? Beata, the mom died by suicide, but it's so important that people hear this side too. There's a lot of rhetoric and fear mongering going around about how doctors are frequently misdiagnosing Munchausen by proxy and how parents should be on the lookout because we will report for anything. From my experience, it's actually the opposite. We often don't report even when we are suspicious because we want to give parents the benefit of the doubt and do everything we can to identify a real medical cause. Don't get me wrong, there are definitely bad doctors out there, and I've seen it firsthand, but I truly believe they are the minority. Sorry for my soapbox. I'm so appreciative of you all and have listened every week since 2019. Thanks for keeping me laughing through some of the toughest days in the world of healthcare best merit. No, that's really interesting. Nobody should believe me. Season three. I'll definitely listen to that. Like I for sure, I think there are Oh, more better doctors than there are bad. Oh, absolutely. Doctors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. This case just seemed so complicated. Yeah, it really, really did. Yeah. I mean, I also Merit, where do you live and what kind of doctor are you? Did she say pediatrician or she works? Oh, I think. The... Yeah, I think she did say that. Oh, Is 37 too old to go to a pediatrician? <laughs> You want to be my doctor? Uh, I'm a pediatrician. <laughs> okay. Intri- yeah. Do you live in? Oh, yeah. You, yeah. Where do you live? No, I have one. I oh, have you do? One. She's, she's. Do you know fine. I saw my pediatrician? Um, I was at lunch with my mom. God, maybe this was like <laughs> half a year ago. And I saw my pediatrician. And I mean, she's like 90 now. Um, yeah, I saw her and I recognized her. 
And I mean, she stopped working like years and years ago um, because she was like old when I went to her and I went up to her and I said, excuse me, are, are you doctor or whatever? I said her name. She said, yes. And I said, this is so weird, but I, you were my pediatrician. <laughs> and she said, yes, I remember you. And I mean, obviously she didn't, uh-huh. but uh, it was really, it was crazy. I said, thank you for being my pediatrician. <laughs> She was Poor like, woman. Okay, okay. Yeah. She was like in a wheelchair now with like 90 <laughs> degrees, like just trying to eat some pasta at this Italian restaurant. <laughs> like, Who are you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember you. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Sure. Bye. <laughs> Bye. It's time for the voicemails. Hi, this is a message for the web callers. It's Becky. Hello, Becky. Hello, Ali and Melissa. <laughs> I actually don't really know why I'm ringing. Um, I know that you guys obviously didn't have any voicemails um, a few weeks <laughs> ago, but I know that you've got some now because I've got a voicemail episode to listen to, which I haven't yet. Um, so I thought, oh, I need to ring and, and do one. Um, but... I obviously sound like I'm inside a microwave if I ring you from anywhere in the house. Yeah, you sound fine, actually. You sound fine. And I sound like I'm in a zoo if I ring you while I'm walking the door. A zoo? So the car, excuse me, seems the optimal um, position to ring you in. So while I was just sat in the car procrastinating, I thought, I'll ring the web powers. I do apologize. I've had hiccups for like three months now, so I'm just constantly... Oh my God, three months. That's actually one of my nightmares. Uh, yeah, I haven't really got an interesting story. I'm going to try and think of one. Maybe I'll ring in another day. I'm sure I've got some interesting stories. I don't know if I've ever told you about when I did a Ouija board. A Ouija no, board. tell us. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll have a think, and if I haven't rung up about that, I'll, I'll do that. Um, I haven't. I'm still think. pregnant. Still <laughs> pregnant. Boy. Wow, that feels like a really long time. Left two weeks today. left. Oh, Maybe wow. The size of a melon, officially. And I literally just look like I've got a melon at my top. Um, I'm over it now. I mean, I've been over it for ages, but I'm really <laughs> over it now. So hopefully not much longer. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Also, I realised the other day that you guys are following me on Instagram. Thank you. I'm, I was honestly buzzing. Of course. Um, very honoured. Yeah, it said like you liked my story or something. Like what girl was like my story and I was like, Yeah, follow her for a while. And then when I went on it, I clicked follow. I clicked unfollow just to follow you again. It said follow back. I was like, oh my god, they're following me. Oh my god, she she wasn't oh, following okay. us. Wow. Um, All yeah, right. Okay, I'll tell you my story. And I went back. Was he birth? Keep it up. Um, la la la. I can't remember what else. Lisa's catchphrases. Pregnancy break. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, it's alley time. We got to bring that back. <laughs> Wait. So this was, I think she called like a week, a couple of weeks ago, and she. Said oh she my god! I wonder if she's weeks, had so... the baby. Oh yeah. We got to check that out. Wow! How exciting. Yeah, that's crazy. I, we're at the end of your pregnancy. Were you like, get the fuck out of my body? I want. I wa- I was so the last, especially few weeks. Oh my god, I, I can't like, imagine. The fuck? And what's what I can't imagine doing cuz I had a planned uh induction, like we oh, had a date. Right. So I can't imagine and it was a one week early. It was like 39 weeks. Some people go to like 42 weeks. Oh. I couldn't imagine just waiting around like no. is my water going to break today? For just for like a month just waiting. There's no way I could have done that. No, I'm like so nervous too. I'd be like every day being like, I can't leave the house. I might have a baby. I I would just be so paranoid. My God. That's why I was like, thank God I can like just schedule it. Oh my God. I can't even imagine. Just going a week early. Yeah. Plopping out. Next message. Hello, web callers. It is Dina from Toronto. I um, realized that every time I call in, I sound like I'm huffing and puffing. Mm -hmm. I'm like... I'm an in shape human. I guess. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not always walking, and it's my my city smells disgusting. So you know. Um, so uh, as I mentioned in a previous call, yeah, I'm one of the people who listens to the 90 Day Fiance stuff but doesn't watch the show. Crazy. I have a theory oh. on why we listen, and frankly, it's just because we love you too. We can't get enough of you. 
And if you produce anything, we want to be there for it. Because frankly, the way that you two ladies chat and laugh and talk about things makes our day. That's That's so nice. That's my thought. That's what I think. What about the rest of you? Do you agree with this? I'm thinking so. So a massive shout out to you two because we adore you guys so much that we're going to (laughs) listen to you talk about this random ass show because we just adore you and we don't want to spend some time with you. Not in a creepy way, just, you know, makes our days brighter. You guys make our days brighter. So thank you for doing the Lord's work. (laughs) All right. Have a fantastic day. Um, La, la, la. (laughs) Bye. That's so nice. That's really sweet. Um, That's I got funny. You go first. Yes, you go first. No, mine's not about the voicemail. So I was going to say, first. It's, it'd be funny <laughs> if we started recapping a really bad TV show. Or a fake TV <laughs> show. We just made up our oh own TV God. show. And started, we should do that. And just like everyone would just fool everyone. Okay. I just found you can get your own house on your own island in <gasps> Maine for $350,000. I just sent it to you. What do it's you mean called your own island? Flanders Pond Island. Here is your chance to Sullivan. purchase and own an island on the desirable Flanders Pond. This ha- it was featured in Maine's Cabin Masters. When owning an oh. island, you're able to have 300. I mean, what? It's probably one like bed, one bath, 850 square feet. I mean, for me, that feels too expensive for 850 square feet. But you own this you island, I guess. An island, though. You have to get there by boat, a little boat ride. So, I mean, the whole Amazon Prime thing is like a little. Oh, fun. yeah. You'd no, have to no, go no. into, you'd have to go to a P.O. box. This is kind of it has a little dock. I mean, I mean, that's... it's cute, right? Dang, that's nice. Melissa, do we split an island in Maine? Do we split an <laughs> island in Maine? Um, okay, that's I mean, a pass. I guess if I can it tell. has like. You know, a little kitchen in here. It's, does it have running water and everything? I would assume. Yeah, it says oh. it doesn't have a water heater, though. So you'd obviously have to add a water heater. Right. Built you know, in 1932. Fireplace. I don't know how it it would do in an inspection. Well, I mean, that's cute as hell. A cute like, little vacation. Yeah. Home I mean, in the summertime. So you, you take cold oh. showers. Or, I mean, in the fall, you just, you know, you go to Maine, you you see the the leaves Leaf, change. Leaves cheapen. Yeah, you you get a, a lobster roll. That looks nice. Yeah, that's where your life changes. <laughs> that's where things that's start where to get real changes. good. Yeah, that's, that's where you start all... your twin flames cult. <laughs> you Oops. eat hot dogs, start your cult on that island. Ooh. All right, well, next voicemail. <laughs> well, next voicemail. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Uh, Long time listener, first time caller. Hello. I was laughing because I, I have an example where my sister almost accidentally joined an MLS, Uh-oh. but to me, it's a cult. Uh-oh. Um, so, what happened was I was still in high school and she was in first year university and she was home visiting. And our second cousin had called her and my sister and, and wanted to meet her for coffee. Uh-oh. So I was at home still doing homework at the time. And so my sister comes back after meeting her for coffee. And she's like, yeah, they, they were telling me all about this, this program. And she hands me a binder. And it's all this life leadership MLM. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't end up looking into it past the fact that it's an MLM. And I was like, you didn't give them your information, did you? And she's like, I gave them my credit card number, Ooh. but I told them I'll let them know. No. And Why did you do that? Me being still, I was like, grade 11, this is Canada. I was like, what? That's, a, that's an MLM, I'm pretty sure. And I like looked it up. And I got her to call them and be like, never mind, like, thanks for thinking of me, but no. But that's my cult story, and it was really funny because my sister is very gullible. 
and that's so bad Oh, that's all I have to say. Oh, um, I recently ran the New York City Marathon. And oh, my God. I was laughing because I had, like, horn wet crawler episodes, like, six hours worth because that's how long I ran for. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. I listening for a few weeks because I wanted to listen to it to run because I run to your podcast. Oh that's amazing. Oh, so, that's all. La, la, la. Love you guys. Bye. Wow, running the New York City Marathon to our podcast. That's That's amazing. crazy. I um recently watched a catfish where this guy <laughs> gave someone his like social security <gasps> number and all this shit. It, I was like, people are so <sighs> fucking dumb. Like, what are you doing? It's so cr- they need to teach. I mean, I think they do teach now, but like in college or high school, like how to avoid scams or like, this is like a full fledged adult. Like men men will give it all up for an ugly man. will give it all up for (laughs) a a hot hot bot. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I was like, Oh my guy, what are you doing? This poor guy. No, 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 no. Yeah. He got taken to the cleaners. (laughs) Hello. Hello. Hola, Flor. So, I'm sorry, oh. I heard you guys talking about 30 monedas. About what? I thought it would be a scary show. Like, ooh, it's in Spanish. Oh, wait, <laughs> 30, 30, 30 points? No, 30 points? Yes. It's freaking bizarre. Like, 30 it's, oh, crazy. Yeah. it's all over the place. At the first few episodes on the first season were good. And then, like, mid season, it's a little weird. Like, there's yeah. a baby cow. Yeah. Like, an actual baby coming out of a cow. Like, huh? I don't know. It was weird. A uh, cow gives birth to a husband, baby. Like, the lady that comes out in it. Um, <laughs> I think episode six is his favorite on season one. We haven't started season two, uh, but yes, it is apparently getting to be a bigger show or someone like someone, a producer, uh, a director. I don't know something. My husband said he knows all of that stuff. But anyways, like it. Yeah, Paul Giamatti joined. Bizarre, yeah. <laughs> what, their, what their story originally started from, um, the boxer turned priest slash <laughs> ex-con. I don't know. It was weird. But we did enjoy it. Um, another thing that was weird was it is currently November 8th, but on Halloween... We were over at some friend's house, and one of the girls brought her mom that had just flown in from India. So we met her. Ooh. Apparently, she passed away yesterday. <gasps> oh, no. Like, what the fuck? There is no way. Oh, no. We just met this lady. We just were having fun with this lady. It's so like, weird when that shit happens. God. Or they're still born, oh. or, you know, whatever. Um, but all ages, teens, toddlers, old, old, old folks, especially in the winter. It's, it's that time, it's that season for funeral homes to be busy again. Um, oh, yeah, so yeah, I bet. I was just tripping balls when they told me the lady had passed away. And I didn't say names or anything like that, privacy, but. I just thought it was crazy. Um, yeah, how sad. Well, not much to say. Just waiting for my surgery. <laughs> um, hopefully, oh, I don't have oh, surgery. Oh, oh or spinal two. fusion? Is she the one who's oh, getting a spinal right. fusion? That's right. She, she called back. It's me again. So, <laughs> I'm just calling back because I got cut off like in the weirdest <laughs> timing of me laughing if I were to die. I find... <laughs> comedy to help me through rough times. So, For sure, yeah. Uh, if you know me personally, I'm always laughing. I always have a smile. I try and see the positive side of 
item everything. Oh, like floor. Um, mm-hmm. But just, you know, put out as many episodes as you can because mm-hmm. I will be in recovery for three months and oh, I'll be at really. home in bed and <sighs> just worried, 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 worried that this Aww. will turn out okay and it'll help all the pain go away. Um, and we had to push our vacation because of the surgery, but, um, yeah, hopefully we can make it to L.A. sometime soon. Oh, and I think since the last time I talked to you guys, we did go to Atlanta, and we went to all the filming locations. Did I say this already? I don't know if I called about this. (laughs) Anyways, anyways, so we did. We did go to Atlanta. We went to all the filming locations for Vampire Diaries. Oh, oh, yeah. (laughs) We also did, what, what other locations did we go to? Oh, we went to the Ozark. Oh, I never watched that. Their house where the birds live. We went there. Oh, um, What else did we do? Uh, not much. Just, you know, shopped around, looked around. Just chilling. Um, we chilling. love Atlanta. It makes us feel like we're back home because there's so much flavor and just it's a big melting pot there. Just I've like never LA. been to Atlanta. Um, Me either. I should go. Well, I won't keep you guys anymore. I'm almost home and... It's dark, and I can't really see at night. I am that old lady. Yes, I am. <laughs> um, but anyways, love you, girls. Uh, keep up the great work. <laughs> Bye. Flora, I love Flora. Me too. Well, good luck on your surgery, hon. I know. What? Did she say when it was is? She in the, was she in the waiting? Well, I got confused a little bit. She was driving. Oh, right. Well, let us know. Room. To get she surgery. Was, yeah, I know. Yeah, she's doing all the above. <laughs> I think it's soon. Yeah, I think so. Let us know. Let us know yeah. if you need anything. Message. Hi, guys. It's Jordan. I'm sorry. Again, I'm going gonna, gonna to keep calling every week and keep apologizing. Stop for apologizing. No, we again. like yeah. it. But I'm only calling in because there's something that I can speak to a little Ooh. bit. Floor, you called about your Whoa. spine Ooh, surgery. And Whoa. That is gonna go great. Um, my wife had that. My wife. My wife. <laughs> my wife. Had that done. Oh. I don't know about six years ago now. Wow. And side note, it was actually at the same hospital where uh, Doctor Death <gasps> had worked. Oh my, oh my God! God. Glad he got out first. Harmed people, <gasps> uh, and you know he was working on. The backs and that sort of thing. Anyway, oh, that's scary. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so my wife, <laughs> my wife had really bad scoliosis. Oh, and Same. she had, I don't remember if it's exactly a spinal fusion, but I think so. And um, it was a long surgery, and she has a lot of uh, hardware inside her oh. back. Um, but when she came out of it, it did take a little chunk of time to uh, recover. recover. But um, the outcome was that, you know, her back pain is no longer an issue. Mm-hmm. And what else? What else can I say? I got to get um, I'm going to have to get a it. Positive thing. And so yes. you'll be you'll be great. Don't. Don't stress about it. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to think. Um, The there one thing she was sort of surprised about afterwards, or had thought about, is that she gets five G cell service now. Was um, you know crooked forever, and then it got uh, straightened out. That sort of adjusted how her hips kind of mm-hmm. sit and and oh. so it just made her yeah. walking feel a little different and get used to oh, well, that's uh, interesting to that and I, I don't I think her height changed like she gained one inch or something Ooh, like that. nice yeah so anyway that's all just saying that kinda, I, I kind of want it now who went through it <laughs> and um it's scary of course but um it'll you'll 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 come out the other end and be a-okay I promise. Okay. Goodbye. That's so nice. Yeah, that's so sweet. I mean, uh, 
the doctor said I was going to have to get it ultimately, but, um, really, yeah, we'll see how physical therapy goes, but, uh, wow. Could that'd it be prevented if by doing physical therapy. I don't is it know. Like, I mean, when he said he was like, it. you're probably ultimately going to have to get spinal fusion. So I don't know, but oh, no. I mean, hopefully the physical, I start in December. So I hope I have to go three days a week. So hopefully it will. Dang. Yeah. But wow. I'm glad get that a couple inches taller. Yeah. That was a good report. Uh, crazy that that's the hospital that dr death was at i know she that's got a scary surgery oh my god i'm glad that holy shit yeah i mean that, that's terrifying wow next message hey you guys are the cutest i love you so much i'm just calling in to say that you know Katy perry i totally agree i i hate her she's horrible yeah and the thing that really pissed me off about katie perry other than the you know performative um you know song about kissing girls because it really isn't about kissing girls it's about turning men on by kissing other girls um other than that it's just the fact that she kissed that forcibly kissed that 18 year old boy on American Idol and people acted like it was so funny and like he was supposed to be like loving it. It's not cool, you know? Like, yeah. uh, so oh, I remember I'm really this. happy that you guys are on the, you know, Katy Perry sucks train because she does suck. And uh, anyway, I'm just feeling hateful today. <laughs> I <laughs> would call in. Uh, but this is Kimmy from uh, formerly of the Discord. <laughs> I remember what this. So this? there was a kid, there was a guy, a kid on American Idol who was like, I've never his, you know how they have like the interviews beforehand. Yeah. And his whole thing was like, I've never had a girlfriend. I've never kissed a girl before. Oh. Like I've never had my first kiss. And Katy Perry surprised him and like kissed him on the lips. And he was really upset. He was like, I don't want my first kiss to be with Katy Perry. Like I was saving my first kiss to be with oh. someone I cared about. Um, and he's like, didn't ever want to kiss a girl without being in a relationship with her. Like he was super religious and he was like, she didn't ask consent. And, you know, like everyone thought like it was cute. And he's like, I didn't want that. Like, I, I'm not okay with that. Oh my God. His name is Benjamin Glaze. He auditioned for American Idol, ended up getting a surprise kiss on the lips. He said, he told the New York Times the experience left him feeling uncomfortable. Yeah. I wanted to save my first kiss for my first relationship. I wanted to be special. Aww. Oh. Poor baby. What a, that's so, when She's was so this, entitled. 18? Yeah. That long ago. Yeah, she's such like an entitled loser. Ooh. Yeah. He said, had Perry asked for a kiss, he would have declined. Uh oh. Well, there you go. Dang. That's that's gross. Don't do that. That's weird. Yeah, don't just that's kiss people. Do. Yeah. You weirdo. Okay. Last voicemail oh, wow. of the day. How time flies. Hi, web crawlers. This is Morgan from Santa Cruz. I'm calling because sorry, yes, that was my dog panting in the background. <laughs> oh he yeah. Is, <laughs> Uh, he was just as tired as I was on that on that run, um, maybe more so. But yeah, he's a cutie. He's a he's a husky and he's adorable. Oh, I'm cute. Blonde. I'm I'm tired of the day. Uh, but I realized that because of that, I think what I got said in the second half of the voicemail kind of got jarbled up a little bit, and that was that I was. In the second half, not referring anymore to the Ashley Simpson song, but actually referring to what you guys were talking about in the Britney Spears book. And I wanted to just clarify that in the song Every Time that everyone kind of assumes is about her abortion because of the music video and the baby and everything, the uh, like sampled sound in the background is a like lullaby music box. Uh, oh, it's something it is? that is kind of 
knock you over the head obvious now, but oh. maybe last time you didn't know uh, her history and her trauma. But yeah, it's interesting. interesting. Okay. I gotta go because I'm driving and it's raining. Uh, be careful. Uh, yeah. All right. Sorry. Boing. Uh, that was a bad one. All right. Well, okay. <laughs> Boing. Okay, bye. Gotta go. Oh, I mean, I don't have to. <laughs> wow wow i didn't know that that's crazy no. yikes wow oh. yeah i think justin timberlake's getting a lot of backlash i mean yeah i mean should. Not, yeah not, not good, good. dude even, I mean, just the fact that he dragged her and he did, you yes. know, like that video and that song and he tried yes. to turn the table and like that is really, that's what's fucked up. He needs to do a public apology. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. I he needs so. to apologize. I don't know. I mean, uh, I did that. Al- Man, that album was good. It was good. That was, that was Fuck. good. In sync was good. Fuck. I know. Yeah. I like, I would, oh God, it's like funny because I, I don't think I, like part of me, I really want to go to if InSync ever toured again. I was like, I will be there front row. And now I'm like, God, I don't, I don't think I would want to go because like yeah. to support Britney. I don't know. Yeah. Um, all right, guys. Well, that is it for this week. Please continue to call in and have a good turkey, turkey day. day. Gobble gobble, bitch. All right, I'm Ali Siegel. <laughs> I'm Melissa Stetton. Bye bye. Bye. Powered by ACAST.